when I use Dragon Dictate, I like to use it most of the time with Vocola and Dragonfly. This video is just to show you how you can download the files and install them yourself. It's also part of my blog, which is mainly about accessible gaming. First of all, you want to download Python. So go into the download section and choose Python version 2.7.13. And then you want to download the 32 bit version, which is the bottom one here. I'll just give that a quick download. I'll run the installer. I want to change that because I've got a different file structure. But you can save it wherever you want. I'd recommend straight up on the, uh, whatever is your main drive. Just don't want that on screen keyboard because that's what I use. Now this bit's important. When you install Python and get to this window, choose to install Python. Like that. Then go on to the advanced section and tick that box. That should make installing Dragonfly much easier later on. Now while that's installing, you want to download WX Python. So go on to the download section and you want to download 32 bit for Python 2.7. Python's installed, so we'll get rid of that. Now just install WX Python. Make sure these two boxes are ticked. Then you want to download a Python for Windows extensions. Browse all files. PyWin32. And then you want this version which is really newest to the time of filming. You want to find a version that matches the Python that you've got, in this case, 32-bit Python 2.7. Run the installer. And then finally, at least for naturally speaking, that link, you want to download the Python script environment. That link, that link test 4.1, and then you want to download this version. It's the most stable at the moment. Run the installer for that. That link likes to be installed straight up on a hard drive. It doesn't like to be in a directory within a hard drive. So just install it on the top like that. That just exists from a previous install.
and then you want to go to the GitHub for Dragonfly and download that as a zip. I like to extract this into the that link directory we just made. Close that. Should unzip as Dragonfly Master. I'll just double check what's in there. Dragonfly Master at the top. So that worked. But you want to go into that Dragonfly Master and somewhere at the bottom of the way, hold shift and right click. That will give you the option to open an administrator command window. And then in that you want to type python setup.py install. Now with any luck, this should happen. And that is Dragonfly successfully installed. What you want to do now is go into your start menu and find Natlink and configure Natlink via GUI. And that should bring up this. What you want to do is enable Natlink. And then under Vocola, click Enable. And that will give you the option to make your user directory where you'll keep all your scripts for Vocola. So I like to go into here. I'll just put it wherever you like. I like to keep it with my programs. And then I'll make a folder in that. And we call that uh, speech. And then in that, make a new folder. And I like to just put a folder. And select that. Next up, you want to go on to the user directory here and enable that. And the same thing again in that speech directory made. Make another one that we call that Dragonfly. select that folder and then register that link probably got confused because I'm installing it again must have missed out a file while he uninstalled it. So I'll close that and open up Dragon Dictate. with any look if it works you should get this 
that should be everything installed. I just need to point out that I got a few errors regarding the directory Dragon was installed in. For some reason, that link didn't pick up the directory of Dragon, naturally speaking. So I had to go into info and change this to actually put that in. And that should take away the errors. Now that should work. Now you've got all your directories made. We can test out that link. First of all, I'm going to test Vocola. What I'm going to do is just open up Notepad and make a simple test command just to see if it works. So here goes. Wake up. Open Notepad. Edit voice commands. Test command. Press equal. Open quote. Hello world. Exclamation point. Close quote. Semicolon. Load voice commands. Test command. Go to sleep. As you can see, test command makes it type hello world in notepad. So Vocola works. Just get that out of the way. As for Dragonfly, I found a GitHub with loads of grammars for that. So let's just download this one. Well, we'll just download them all. And download that as a zip. And then I'll extract that. Into our Dragonfly user directory. We'll just use a CPP one for now. to put up that directory to show you. Now, when you restart Dragon Naturally Speaking, that'll get converted into a, a workable Python file. Just turn it off. As you can see, that's been converted. So now I'm just going to open Notepad and use a C++ command just to test that. Open Notepad. Enable CPP. For loop. Go to sleep. As you can see, when you enable CPP, it gives you a message saying that's what's happened. And then when you try to write a for loop, it'll automatically fill in a for loop template. So that speed up your voice recognition for programming anyway. So there you have it. Now you'll be able to use Vocola for your programs. And you'll also be able to use Drag and Dictate to program by voice. Thanks for watching. And all the uh, files and links are in the description of the video. Bye for now.